Nick Rye here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered on party liquor, spread eagle, and I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get you, stupid right. gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I can get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc! What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no! Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! situation is uh, rather dire but just head through the doors man I'll explain everything in a minute In a space station with little to no context or backstory, you just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, Migo. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth, it's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. And we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to the beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kirk? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? 
I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. We used that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Anth terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. So, you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazzy out of it. Control center restored. It worked! See? Nick, this is Anne. Anne, meet my bro, Nick. Uh, oh. hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. It just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No, it is very straightforward. <clears throat> okay, man, all systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but harvested straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. Well, you're done, man. Take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there and I'll show you a quick trick. Voila, amigo. Welcome to the place where all your wildest dreams come true. Current designs are limited. The more you restore me, the more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. See how that works, man? Space is equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean? All life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now come on, grab my head, dude. You got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Oh, oh shit, what was that? Relax, man, it's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man, stay off that dirt! Crab man, shoot it, shoot it, please! Don't drop me, man, I'm defenseless! Watch out, there's more! Come on, Nick, I know you can do it, buddy! We can't find the other energy cores unless we power the antenna! Fuck me, I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? 
Man, I, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. Now that that one's on me, man. I'm I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy core so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. in this area. Oh man, those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man. Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Fair point, man. I'm just not meant to be prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad body. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful boo. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Ann said, we need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Damn! Looks like the energy cores are up there. We need to find those space jets. <laughs>
Looks like the energy cores are up there. We need to find those space jets. Oh shit, that's my pelvic area! Big ass space crab did me dirt! Wait! Where's my junk? Nick! Nick! Where's my junk? Nick! You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your peckerless pelvis. Come on, man. A little sympathy. We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Her... What you're saying isn't possible. No. Wait, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space shit in the ass to be and anything's possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... Perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity, the pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dump. Come on, man. Do you want me to be a cyber-killing machine and fulfill my destiny or not? Explosive grenade acquired. Man, it is the only thing I have left. Now let's get to the transference center. Listen, man, I get it. You're afraid if I become a robot, I'll try to kill you, but I promise I won't. I'm gonna be a good robot, like RTD. Approaching transference center. Oh, man. I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, the terminal is on the top floor. You gotta power that place up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't.
You can now use the transference chamber. The two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Cat Bros for life! Put me in, dude! Put me in! And don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle I've become. Channel now. Don't mess up my goatee. some theme music. physical and verbal abuse. We are linked up, man, so you can just tell me where to go and I'll follow, man. I won't even argue, like, ever. Unless you say something about monkeys. And if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense, you just use me, man. I'll draw these suckers away with my jaw-dropping dance moves and such. Now, I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Herc, just how the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress Anne by taking care of this all myself and where to get me. Got my damn body snatched and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was, I was trying to get something. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Herky. Do you hear yourself? I'm still doing this because you're not smart. You're actually really, really dumb, Herky. I was 
dumb, Nick. I was dumb, past tense, and for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact, which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Nick? 